everybody. Welcome back to Outdoor Rushes. You've got me, Kimberly. Here's Aspen and Jake. So, this this is my birthday weekend trip and... For two weeks. For two weeks we've been saying we're going to go to the White Mountains. She's been playing it for two weeks. Well, shut up. So, because it's, it's a little bit further of a drive from our house and I took Monday off. So we'll have some extra time there. Just thought it would be nice. Originally we were supposed to go camping with Jake's parents. Unfortunately that didn't work out. So that's how this all came to be. Well, we're driving on the highway, on good old Highway 87, the B line. If you live here, you know where that is. And um, in a few weeks, we have our anniversary coming up. And we had already booked and planned a trip to Durango, Colorado. We're really excited to go on that trip. But Jake was complaining about the horrible fishing in Arizona, as usual, and I was agreeing. And so he says, hey, let's go to Durango right now. And I'm just like, well, I mean, I guess we can. And so I look up the weather, the weather's gonna be nicer. Um, it's already 12.30, it's about a six hour drive. So I told him, I'm like, if we can get a cheap hotel room, we'll go. I got a cheap hotel room. So. So excited. Change of plans. <laughs> yeah. We're going to Colorado right now. Um, spontaneity. Spontaneity. This is, as Jake liked to, to point out, this is the most spontaneous thing I've ever done in my entire life. So it's going to be fun. <laughs> we'll keep you guys updated. Um, We'll see how this goes. Aspen, what do you think? She is not happy. All right, stay tuned. Colorado, here we come. Oh. Update, we're still headed to Durango. I haven't chickened out yet. We're on, we, we, we made the turn, we turned in Heber, headed up to Interstate 40 now, and there's just no going back. This is it. This is it, we're on our way. We're on our way. Aspen. We just stopped to let her pee. She's just a girl. Not happy to be in the car though. No. No. Hates the car. Hates the car. Here we go. We did it! We left Arizona! Yeah! This is Aspen's first time out of state. We're in New Mexico. She lit. She she sat up to yeah. like watch so, us yeah, cross over. Like, That's adorable. Yeah. Well, we're one state down. Another two to go, depending on how you want to count. <laughs> what? I don't know. <laughs> what the hell are you? We're in New Mexico. We go to Colorado next. There's yeah. no other state. Well, we're out of Arizona. But, but no, there's no other state. But, well, there's three states involved in our trip. Yeah, and we were in Arizona, and now we're out. We don't yeah. have two more to go. Well, one state down. Two states down. Arizona and New Mexico. One more to go. All right, everybody. We made it to Durango. We're in Colorado. Can you freaking believe it? Nope. We're in our hotel room. What are you doing? Put your keys in your pockets. I could have got them in a second. I don't want you to forget them. I won't forget them. But yeah, so we stayed at the Holiday Inn Express. Luckily, they had a room available that was pet friendly for the dog. And this is what you wake up to. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but we're in Durango. We're in Durango, Aspen. So, like we said, we we're gonna go to the White Mountains this weekend. Come on, lighten up, camera. There we go. We we're gonna go to the White Mountains this weekend. Halfway here, decided so screw it. Let's drive to Durango. Coming back in June as well. But right now, we're gonna go start exploring. It is 7:04 in the morning. We're a little tired. We've been up since five. I wonder why. Because of that dog. I wonder why. So we're gonna go out and start exploring. Stay tuned. Because we're up here on a whim, I didn't have time to do all of my research that I was planning on doing, like, 
where we should go explore fish. So we're kind of just doing it on a whim. Um, we looked at the map a little bit last night in the hotel room, and so we decided to come check out this one tiny little creek called Hermosa Creek. Which it's in the bottom of a canyon. Jake and I are not in the best of shape. So we're actually now gonna go head to the um, fly shop that's in Durango, see if maybe they have any advice for us. Um, just some pointers, everything I've seen online looks like they're pretty helpful. So we'll see. Otherwise, it's just kind of exploring. We already saw a deer. Aspen's mad to be in the car. But we're just happy to be on our little adventure. So exciting. Sure. Okay. okay. We're at the lake. We're going to give this a go. Aspen loves lakes. Pretty the water is. I know. This is a big lake. It's huge. I mean, we can spend a lot of time here because we've got our food. Yeah. So I'll make a sandwich. Yeah. I think this is a lake that has kokanee salmon in it. Yeah. Fish. Oh! Got a fish. Oh my god. That's a big fish. Oh my god. Look at that two weight. Do you want me to get your net or the camera? Uh, get the camera. Oh my gosh. Get the net. I don't know what it is. It's going to be a while. Look at that rod. Look at that rod. Oh my god. What did you put on? Red and green leech. Okay, Aspen. I know. You I just know saw my line twitch. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> I lifted up and it was like, boom. Oh my, this rod. <laughs> is that everything you hoped for? Yeah. Aspen, come here. I know. I gotta see what it is. It's, it's pretty big. I think. Oh, it's so pretty! It's a know. big rainbow. Oh my god! Oh my gosh! Did you see that? Oh my god. Oh my god. That's a big rainbow. Oh. This is not the rod for this. No. You said you want to catch a fish that would break it. Yeah. It gets a lot colder when you're deeper. Yeah. Are you going to be able to bring it in? Yeah. Come on. Wow. I'm getting closer. Oh, oh my, my god. gosh. I can't, I can't even hold it. I can't, I can't even hold it. it. <laughs> oh my gosh. On a nine foot two weight. Look at that fish. Babe, get the big camera out. Oh my gosh. God, it's bigger than your net. Yeah. The first Colorado trip, or fish, is a monster. Mm -hmm. Holy crap, dear. I know. <laughs> Look at that fish. Wow. Look at that thing. Oh my gosh. Look at that fish, dear. I mean, like, did we just peek or is that going to be normal? I don't know. Did you see that thing? Oh my god. <sighs> oh wow. my god. Oh my gosh. Come on, dear. You got it. That fish made the whole trip. 
still shaking? Yeah. I bet. I did not think I was gonna land that fish. I didn't either. I was so worried. Like I was happy when we finally just got to see it. Yeah. Oh shit. You got one? I got one. How does it feel? Not that big. <laughs> really. It's not. <laughs> it's not? No. Oh man. This is your first Colorado fish. I know. Be excited. Very excited. Right? Yeah. It's cute. Looks like a stalker. Get it in. Well, that's not a bad fish. It's not like yours. But still, it's not a bad fish. Yeah. How do you hit it? Were you stripping it or? No, I was sitting there. I've been savoring the moment. I don't have a net. Yeah, just kneel down and grab him. They fight pretty hard, don't they? They fight good, but yeah, it's it's not yours. So? Mm. Hey, this is your first fish in Colorado. I know. This is your first fish out of the state of Arizona? No. Oh. Dum dum? Oh, Oregon. <laughs> Washington. I remember now. All right. There we go. Hey, catching fish. I know. Hold it up a little higher. There you go. All right. It kind of looks weird. It's like green. Yeah. I don't know what it is. I don't know either. All right. It's a fish. Mm -hmm. Right? And I caught it. And it swam away. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you did it. Okay. So yours might have been a little bit of a fluke. Maybe. Why would you say that? Well, there's quite the difference just now. My fish could have ate your fish. I think it probably will. But hey, you caught Colorado fish. I caught a fish in Colorado. Wow. All right. So we may be into a school of them. You got him. I got him. It's a good one. It's a little bit bigger. Oh yeah, look at you. Yeah. Look at this. She's catching fish. You're falling. I almost fell over. I know. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're going with numbers. I know. I always win with numbers. Huh? I always win with numbers. Yeah. Okay. Oh, stop it, you slimy little creature. Okay, I don't know if I can hold him properly for a shot. There he goes. Oh, baby, you dropped him right in the mud. I think that one's smaller than your first one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You see the size of that trout Kimberly caught? Those were huge. Yours was actually big, but Colorado's everything we thought it would be, honestly. Freaking phenomenal. People here actually give you friendly advice when you're out on the water. Yeah. They tell you like, hey, fishing's not good in this area or Move. whatever. Yeah. They actually tell you to go other places. Yeah. Learn a lesson, Arizona. Yeah. But so. we're very excited. Um, this is just a very exploratory trip since obviously we're coming on our real trip in three weeks. We're gonna go head up to check out another big lake. It, it has pike in it. It has pike, yay. And rainbows and browns, Yeah, right? this was my idea. Yeah. But if it's any good, you guys will see that in the next video. Yeah. 
And otherwise, we are just so happy to be here and can't wait to share all the adventures here with you guys. Heck yeah, thanks for tuning in everybody. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications, share this video with your friends. If you're thinking of coming to Colorado, especially the Durango area to do some fishing, just do it. Do it. Like, stop piddle farting around. Don't come up right now because the water's a little high. It's a little high. But, just, just do come it. up. That's what we did. Yeah. Thank you guys.